Hi everybody, it's Andrea aka Violet Kitty 411 and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who has been engaging in this channel. It makes it so much more fun. Do continue to comment, like, subscribe. I do try to respond to every comment that I get. So thank you so much. So on this Fiesta haul, apparently I can't garden on rooftops and I'm 100% convinced that I have in the past. So I don't know what the deal is and I know the trees will work. So there's that. Anyway, uh, let's get on with it. We're doing another redesign in La Fiesta that is attached to my strange town because of course it is actually strange town. And anyway, uh, today we're doing the tri -firm sorority. The tri -firm sorority girls are known as the coolest house to join, but with all the wild parties and events on campus to attend, will the sisters ever have time for school? So let's go check them out. So I read all their bios. This gal, Sarah Love, is actually dating Matthew Hart. Unbeknownst to her, Jesse Pilferson might be dating him as well, or maybe it's just one-sided on Jesse's side. Monica is the upper, well, she's not upperclassman, but she's the oldest one in the group, and she is a hypocrite. And DJ here is just kind of going with the flow. So anyway, these are our girls, and let's look at their house. Okay, so they've got a large, long room here, a large kitchen. They've got a good sized piece of property and some poorly placed uh, poorly placed three bedrooms that are strange like three by six it looks like or maybe even three by seven actually and yeah so some strange strange numbers and things like that so we'll figure this out and give them a better one i am going to reorient the lot because thank you so much east street angel for introducing me to that tool because i absolutely adore the lot adjuster and so let's go ahead and evict the girls determine their net worth or actually determine their net worth then evict them because they're a sorority and start on the redesign all right so right now our budget is going to be fifteen thousand nine twenty three that's what we've got working so let's make sure that i give that to them because as i evict them they won't have that and it rents for 6101 so let's go take a look see again okay like i said i will be reorienting this house so i am going to make sure that they have a pool but right now we're just going to get rid of this pool in order to have that space so a four by six pool is in their destiny but right now we're just going to take that out okay so i've adjusted the lot i've got it justified to the left and to the back so i have nice side yard over here for the girls to use so we will go ahead and eliminate everything and then exit to the neighborhood again so this entire house one bathroom one toilet that we cannot live with the girls can't live with that so we will definitely create better rooming situation better all around so we'll figure out what they need and is this yeah that's a that's a connecting stair so we'll just go ahead and delete that and before i exit to the neighborhood i'm also going to go ahead and carve out their basement because there's not a lot of space, so we're going to make sure. Of course, we always want the basement just in case we want it at a later date, but I have a feeling I will actually be using it for this build. So we'll just go ahead and carve it right out and dig it. Okay, so let's go ahead, grab that, put that right there, five down, hammer it out, go to the terrain. What was I doing? That was like, there we go. Okay, now I'll exit to the neighborhood and fix the road. And just to remind you to fix the road, I am going to grab it, pop it onto any place, and then grab it and pop it right back. And there we go. 
a little funky looking. Let's actually move it closer so it's directly to next to. There we go. There we go. That's what we want. All right. So of course now I have to eliminate this excess road and sidewalk. I will have to actually use move objects on for that. That's fine. Not a problem. Get that right there. So now like with the guys, I eliminated their veranda kind of thing. I'm actually going to extend their decking. Uh, it's not going to be a huge deck. I'm not going to fill up this entire area, but I'm going to give them a little bit more because this at least makes sense that they've got back here, but I don't like everything about it. So I'm going to extend some around here and then yeah, and then kind of create something else. I'm going to figure that out. And what I had elected for them was, I'm just going to, it's not going to be a huge decking. It's just going to create a little bit more of a foundational look for them. So we will use this same decking and we're only going to go that far just to create a little bit more of a space. And then we will go ahead and put our pool in and just like, that it can't be too close there we go that's that's the i can't be too close to there and i can't be too close to there so that's what we're doing we will fill in with this light pine gulcher why can we not intersect other oh that's right there's a little little light there now, depending on how much money they have at the end, I might actually go ahead and put a fence around it, but this is not a particularly wealthy sorority, so we'll see. And again, I'm going to go ahead and do a more southwestern look for this, and we will just go ahead and pop on that coining. There's Daisy, for those of you who are her fans, because I know she has fans. It's great. So I haven't made a decision as to whether or not I will change the roof. That's a good likelihood, but right now this is where it stands. And as far as placing the stairway, I do want to go ahead and do the spiral staircase trick. Let's go ahead and place it so that comes down right there. And we're going to go ahead and sweep it right through our foundation okay right there and now we are going to use the arch and I'm going to use this one and pop it in like that and pop it in like that exit to the neighborhood and you re-enter there you have it a little bit awkward but yeah they can actually use it and I take none of their extra space and now we will come up with a floor plan so I'm not going to be able to create a whole bunch of really spacious rooms, but I will be able to create rooms for each, for about six girls. And they will be three by four rooms because we can. As a matter of fact, I think I want this one like this. All right. Another one like this. right like that and there we go we've got six three by four rooms we'll just pop a bathroom right there we'll pop another one right there and then another one right there so six rooms six bedrooms three bathrooms better use of space and of course I will enclose this so guests can't go either into the basement or into the sleeping area unless we want them to. And of course the fact that there is no powder room on the main floor is completely ridiculous so we'll put one right in there. The kitchen was at the back and you know I do approve of that so we'll continue this as the backspace. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this right here. I didn't hate it so we're gonna keep that right there and I do think though I want do I want to move it let's see where is it I feel like I want to move it a little bit 
you can actually use move uh, the set quarter tile placement and fireplaces can be centered. So we are going to do a centered fireplace. So I don't think I have it on. So now with it centered, we can see it from as we enter. So this will be kind of a formal living area and we will actually section that off some maybe kind, kind of a nice formal living area. This is not going to have the whole Reese Witherspoon walking down a flight of stairs, but that's fine. So this will be a kitchen with a nice eating space. This will be somewhat of a formal living area. Also a party-ish area since it's got access to the back door. And as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to change the back door from here to over here because that just makes more sense as far as traffic flow. And I'll probably even put a door right here so they can also get out from the kitchen. And we will go ahead and start decorating. Okay, so once I have all my textures on, again, I'm going to do the Southwest like I did with the fraternity. But I chose a few more, a little more feminine, little little girlier, some blues and pinks, not super feminine. We're not like the Trivar sorority where they're totally living their Barbie dreams, but we do have some pinks going on. And also, so in the ones that have the natural wood wainscoting, we give them a tan carpet. Those that have the white wainscoting, we give them a white carpeting. So with the banana over here and some Neapolitan, this from the Life Stories pack. So real pretty, yeah, just a, a different, a different look. Definitely a different look. And I haven't chosen a, a floor pan, floor plan, excuse me, for the foundation yet, but I did actually fill in the terrain with the monumental wall tile by putting a line of flooring all the way around, also putting flooring in, and then I could fill this and it maintained that way. Simply because for aesthetics, as they come through the foundation, I just wanted it that way. So this is currently sitting at 14860 and their budget is 15923 So as much as I'd like to add more, I'm not going to, except for I'm going to do a little bit of a hack. Right now, I am going to just buy things right here. Until I get 15923 Okay, so now I have to get, so now I'm at 15 for 740 so I need another 200 so let's look for something that's about 800 all right and now I need another seven so figure something's at about 35 30 35 all right so with these three items I came up to exactly my 15 923 and we're gonna go ahead and add the girls in but first let's do a quick tour so I didn't really have enough to do the landscaping that I wanted and that's fine but I feel like it's very pretty from the outside we definitely made some improvements it blends with the scenery and also complements the boys and we moved the letters from here to up here and made some better use of this space because it is basically useless but there we go in the front hallway the only thing we have is a table with some chairs or a chess table with some chairs and then we also have these three things that we will sell for just shy of 5,000 simoleons so they'll have some money to work with instead of putting them in when they only had a thousand left okay so then here we've got a place where they can have their dinners plus they can blackball new pledges and do all sorts of things because these are sorority girls that's what they do plus they also can do some group study in here a pretty nice kitchen um we don't have any major appliances but that's or well by major appliances no dishwasher no sink oh we need a couple things but that's okay we'll be able to buy them because 
look, we've got some money right over here. And they do have sinks elsewhere. So you know what? If you don't think about it, they can walk across the hall, walk across the dorm to wash their sinks in the their dishes in the powder room because Sims have done stupider things. Over here, we've got a little bit of a gaming area plus more place to study, work on term papers. We do have the swimming pool over here. I don't have enough money to put a fence around it, but that's okay. Each girl has a bed, a dresser, and an easel in her room, and there are three bathrooms up here, each equipped with pink, pink plumbing. Very pretty. It's not the barbiest house like the Trivar, but they're not the same kind of girls. They're a little more down to earth. They're actually nicer. I mean, they're sorority girls, but I, overall they are nicer than the others. So let's go ahead and put them in. So it is 15923. And they have 15923. Let's go ahead and put them in and see what they think. And they're all making a beeline to check out the staircase because they're excited about a staircase. Let's see what they think. <laughs> go downstairs, walk through. I mean, just to prove, yep, they can walk right through that foundation. And they all seem pretty excited about, look at that. Look how excited. And sh oh, okay. Ah, ooh, ah, like, look at that. They're so excited. They don't like the door frame. I can't say that I blame them. That's okay. So now you'll notice down here they have exactly nothing, but we will go ahead and go up and sell this face, that little robot, and that little cow creamer, and now they have 4,832 to play with. So no problem that they don't currently have a kitchen sink because we can buy that. As Monica is the upperclassman, or at least the most senior member of the sorority, we will have her apply for the charter. But let's also check out to see what they think of bathrooms now that they have more than one to share. Let's see. Um, why don't you use a toilet and you may also use a toilet and you use a toilet it's all exciting for you use toilets ladies monica has a class in an hour twenty dollars for the charter congratulations awesome and she's like, yeah, you're in the, you're in the bathroom and I need a bathroom. Oh, okay. Well, you're going to class. All right. Not a problem. And after the girls get out, let's play some games. Why don't you join her and can more than one person? Okay. Why don't you watch? All right. Good girls. Oh, good. A streaker. Yay. We love that. Well, I think these girls will settle very nicely into their new life while the streaker just goes on her merry way. All right, well, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon in the pixelated world, and that's all I have to say. VK out.